Hello again, everybody. This trick was done by Scam School a few months ago. Brian Brushwood created this card trick, or he said he came up with this card trick, and he said it will fool magicians. I think it's a brilliant impromptu card trick, and I'm going to show you how the trick is done. I'm not going to perform the trick. I'm just going to teach it to you. So what you want to do is you want to memorize the top and bottom card of a deck. So you can spread the cards out and show a spectator that all the cards are different. Wherever you break the cards, like let's say the Eight of Spades and Four of Spades, you just break the cards just like that, and now you know that the Eight of Spades is on the bottom and the Four of Spades is on the top. You have to memorize those two cards. Now you can give the cards a couple of shuffles, keeping the Eight of Spades on the bottom and the Four of Spades on the top. So it looks like you're shuffling the cards, but you're not disturbing the top and bottom card. So now you have a spectator select any card they like, and let's say they, they choose this card, the Two of Diamonds. What you're now going to do is you're going to swing cut the cards, meaning you're going to take, break off a portion from the top half of the deck and swing cut it over to your other hand. So you've now taken the top card, and the, which is the four of spades, and you've moved it to the middle, and the eight of spades, which is the bottom card, is going to go on top of their selection. So you ask them to place their card down, which is going on top of the four of spades, and you're just going to drop the top half of the deck or the eight of spades on top of it. So there are no breaks now, and it looks like the card is completely lost. You're remembering the eight of spades and the four of spades. Now what you want to do is you want to break off the deck somewhere that's not in the middle, somewhere like the top third, top third of the cards, let's say. And then you want to give the cards a riffle shuffle. So you give the cards a riffle shuffle, and now the card looks completely lost, and there's no possible way you could know what the card is because it was uh, put in the middle of the deck and you shuffle the cards. Now you're going to turn the cards over and you're going to tell the spectator that you are going to memorize every card and the position of every card in the deck and that you're going to turn around, they're going to move their card and you will turn back around and find out which card it is. So you go through and you're pretending you're memorizing every card. All you're memorizing is you're looking for the eight of spades and the four of spades. Those are the two cards. Now that shuffle actually put the two of diamonds and the three of spades between the eight of spades and the four of spades. So you know their card is one of these two cards. So as you're pretending to memorize the position of every card in the deck, all you're saying to yourself is two of diamonds, three of spades, two of diamonds, three of spades. You turn around, you tell the spectator to take out their card and move it to another spot. Their card was the two of diamonds. They take it out. They move it right over here. You then turn around and say, okay, and immediately you spot that the three of spades is there, so the two of diamonds was moved, so that's their card. Now you can go in and you can act, and you can say, okay, let me see. We've got four, nine, five. There's a five, the queen of hearts. That goes to the second queen, not five, nine, two. There's the nine, eight, ten. Whatever you want to do, pretend you're a rain man, and you've got the whole deck memorized and say, okay, the card that's out of position is the Two of Diamonds. And people will be amazed. It's a really cool card trick. It's very simple. You could do it anywhere, anytime. I really like this one. Uh, thank you, Scam School, Brian Brushwood. That's it. I'll see you next time.